construction site with its central trailers, the new central trailers per se. Last Monday, Bruce Jenkins from the Health Department and Bill Helmick from the Preston County Bus Garage both came to observe the trailers, and what they found was absolutely horrifying and disgusting. The ceiling leaks, the carpet is wet, and there is mold growing. Black mold to be exact, and black mold is a serious threat to anyone who walks into those trailers. And because of the mold, and because of the leak, and because of the wet carpet, the central trailers have been shut down. And they will continue to be closed until they are fully up to date with the health department standards. After these serious findings, the state department, department of education, and the fire marshal all came out to check out the trailers. And once they saw what they saw, a report is currently being filed on the trailers. Being a teacher for Central, what is your opinion on being here? Well, I uh, was at the high school as a teacher last year, and this year, being at Central, I can see that it's uh, not a good situation for either school, for the students or the faculty. Are you crowded in the freshman wing and in your classroom? Yes, uh, the, the freshman wing, all the uh, buildings or all the uh, rooms in the building are being used uh, almost constantly uh, throughout the day. Uh, my particular room is the what was the old material center, and, and it was a computer lab at one time. And, and right now there are three special ed classrooms in one room with only uh, temporary dividers separating the uh, classrooms. What is your opinion on the central trailers in the Preston High parking lot? Well, I don't uh, like them being there, but it is a, a solution I think that's necessary. Both schools need uh, room. It's just that, uh, you know, we've lost a facility the size of the, the old central school, and, and uh, it's, it's going to take some, uh, some real uh, drastic measures to, uh, to replace that.